We can have you talk in the background. Yeah, I'll show you if you like. Yeah, if you like it. Back in Queens. Uh, all right. Hi everyone, uh, we're back in New York. Hi everyone, we're back in New York City and we are headed to the Queens Night Market. It's actually the first night market we've been to. Before we ever went to a night market in Taiwan, Philippines, or Thailand, we went to one right here in Queens. It's very special and we're gonna tell you why. There is all different cuisines here that you can't find easily here in New York, like Lao food, Mauritian food, Burmese food. And what's great about it is that everything is capped at five or six bucks, so it stays very affordable and you can eat a lot, which is great for food fanatics like us and hopefully you. A Queens International Night Market started in 2015. Yeah, it started back in 2015 and it's expanded steadily over the years. It's turned out to be an amazing event. It's gotten a lot of coverage. Let's do it. This is Flushing Main Street bound 7. The next stop is... Stand clear of the closing doors, please. So we're here, we're at 111th Street, 7 train, and we got about a 10 minute walk to the night market from here at the Hall of Science. Burmese Bites. They actually won the People's Choice Award at the Vendies last week. As a very prestigious honor, it's voted on by everybody who came to the Vendi Awards. We have a lot of Vendi Award nominees here tonight. We have here, we're starting off with Burmese Bites, Kima Palata. And why do we start with Burmese Bites? Here's why. They always have the longest lines in the night market, so we came right away. So we have right here is the Kima Palata. So Palata sounds like Parata. This is similar. It's handmade and it has ground chicken, cilantro, onions, and more. And we have the raita, the yogurt with cucumber. Let us take the first bite. So good. Brings me right back home. <laughs> Those spices. That minced chicken with the spices really comes out. Let's get a little of that yogurt. Mm. The next stop is going to be for some Mauritian food. This is, for our only knowledge, the only Mauritian vendor in New York City. Right here. I'm going to get it all. We're going to get the dal puri and we're going to get the biryani. Let's get the dal puri and the biryani. We'll get both. Sure. Uh, do you want the dal puri with a man part? Yes, please. We have chicken biryani from Peri Bure. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It looks like Peri Bure. Bure. I'm sure I'm butchering it but it's the Mauritian vendor. They're pretty new here. So this is the chicken biryani. Look how colorful that rice is. You have a little bit of orange, yellow, white. You got the chutney. Here's the chicken. Let's try a piece of chicken first. Mmm. There's a lot of cumin in here. It's so flavorful. Mmm. Add some of that carrot, rice, and the chutney. That brings all the elements together. Now, it's time to try the dal puri with lamb curry. Also from the Mauritian vendor. Mm. Mm. This is the Wendy uh, okay. donut, so-called farmer's cheese donut. Oh! Uh, farmer's cheese donut 
Russian donut. It's hot, freshly fried. Let's take a bite. It's a little like a Zeppeli, creamier. Yeah, there's a little richness inside. Another familiar flavor on this. I'm trying to think about it. That's excellent. Wow. There's that little bit of cheese there. It's very good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Night Market Live. I only have two hands. Is this dessert? Is this sweet? That's how we do We just mix uh, savory, sweet. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, it's creamy but not overly so. Wow. Still eat. That's how we do We eat while we go to the next spot. So we have rice still. And we're getting more rice. More rice. So we are now at I Eat Lao Food. The only Lao street food vendor here in New York City. Matter of fact, only the second place in New York you can even have Lao food at all. They're very good friends of ours, and they started up in the house and in backyard barbecues. So we watched their growth from 2015 to now. It's been beautiful. They were nominated for the best market vendor at the Vendi Awards. They make the specialty is Nam Kao. So it's whole coconut red curry rice balls, fried whole, smashed out, get all the crispy edges. And they're also grilling up some Lao beef skewers here. It's delicious stuff. Greg's helping our I Eat Lao food friends and then we're filming. Literally behind the scenes, I eat Lao food. We have the Nam Khao. So this is crispy coconut red curry fried rice. Got fear lime leaves, fish sauce, lime juice, preserved pork on top, cilantro, scallions. There's so much going on in here. I, I can't even talk about it anymore. Let's just take a bite. Look at that crispiness right there. Oh. Oh my god. That first bite was unbelievable. Mm. These crispy edges are a thing of beauty. That's a product of having the whole rice ball fried and smashed out like that. The crispy rice edges are everywhere. Sweet, sour, spicy, salty. It's got it all. Now let's try this beef skewer. It's quite juicy. Asking for it medium rare. Let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Mm. So juicy and tender. It's very good. It goes so well with this rice. So awesome. Come check it out. I eat loud food, please night market. Malaysian project. The Malaysian project is known for the Romley burger. So it is a burger wrapped in egg. This time we're actually getting with cheese, which is a new thing. And we have it with sp a secret spice blend, a spicy mayo, some soy sauce in there, cumin. It's a lot of good stuff in there. It's delicious. Freshly made to order. They crack the egg, egg on the griddle, wrap it up. It's good stuff. Burger here. Look at that egg, it's perfectly cooked. 
Alright, I, I can't talk about it anymore. Let's just eat this thing. It's so good. Mm. Those spices on that first bite really stand out. Oh my god. That creamy mayo. Those awesome spices that are in here. It's just like an unidentified blend. Leave a little fenugreek, some more. It's so good. And then you got that fresh egg on the outside. Mm. It is awesome. There's a reason why there's long lines for this spot too. And this is so good. Mm. Excellent. Now we got kaya toast. So it's got that kaya that's made with pandan. That's why it's got that neon green texture. Let's take a bite. Mm. It's buttery, it's creamy, it's got that distinct pandan flavor. It's really good, it's crispy, it's perfectly griddled on that flat top. Mm. It's got that good salty sweet from the butter and the creamy kaya. Delicious. Yeah, so our next stop today here was Makina Cafe. It's actually a favorite of ours as a food truck in Manhattan. They're the first Eritrean Ethiopian food truck in New York City and the only one. It's awesome. It's owned by, her name is Eden. Uh, she's awesome. She was a finalist for best rookie vendor at the Vendi Awards. So what we have here is injera bread. So that's the classic Ethiopian sourdough fermented bread. And we also have miser. It's a uh, lentil stew and we have beef tips and we got some awazi sauce drizzled on top uh, traditionally you're supposed to eat it with your hands so that's what we're gonna do it smells amazing all right let's take a pinch of that scoop it this comes with some onions too mm. oh that awazi sauce is so good oh my god Taste of cumin in there, tangy, spicy. She had some technical difficulties earlier, but she managed through. She's trooping it out. Mm. Wow. The beef is excellent. Beef also has a nice rosemary flavor in there too. Wow. Let's try these. It's so good. Red lentil is awesome. It's so good. There's a piece of rosemary right there too. And we forgot to take photos. <laughs> All right, so we're done with our savory food. We even had some dessert already too, but now we're gonna hit our last stop. It's a very special one. It is Indonesian desserts. Moon Man. Our friends with the owner as well, Nigel. He's a good friend of ours, we eat with him a lot. But his food is tremendous. We actually ate the food before we even knew who he was. So we got the tasting menu. This is the way to go when you're at Moon Man. Yeah, I got one of each, the famous Kue Panchong, the coconut pancake. Kue Putu, that is the steamed pandan cake with black sesame seeds on top. And then steamed cassava cake with pandan cream on top. Incredible. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's talk before we Excellent. This always reminds me of um, Philippines cassava cake. It's pretty similar, yeah. And with the Moon Man touch. We got the Pandan steamed cake. Very spongy, soft. The black sesame seeds on top. The coconut cream. The cream's a little salty too. It's like sweet and salty mix. It's got a nice little crunch from the black sesame seeds. Delicious. My turn. Here is the signature. Moon Man! It looks like, it almost looks like it could be. Ooh. Let's take a bite of this. It's, it's like a creme brulee top, crispy with the palm sugar, that coconut. Mm. It's incredible. This, this, this dessert is. I swear it's at. Wow. We're coconut lovers. Even if you're not a coconut lover, this could convert you to be one. That That's crispy perfect. sugar. Ah. Mm. Brulee to order. Excellent. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
All right, so we had a hell of a night here at the night market. It's glad to have it back for four more weeks. Yes. We feasted, we had Lao food, we had Mauritian food, we had mm -hmm. Russian fried donuts with cheese inside, we had Ethiopian food, we had, we had Malaysian product, we had Moomin Indonesian desserts, we had a lot of food tonight, it was all really awesome. So thanks for watching, uh, if you like this video hit that like button, subscribe, we got lots of awesome New York content coming your way. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you.